coming at you with another video review, and this time we're taking a look at the Iron Man 2 comic series War Machine figure. Now, there are two versions of War Machine. There's the comic series, which I have, and there's also the movie series, which I do not have. I didn't see that at the store when I was buying these. So, this is the first one that they have. I'm really like liking the way the paint apps are on here. That's what really sold me on getting this one. I originally wasn't going to get this one and just get the the movie version, but I like the paint applications, and I'll show that off more here in a minute. Uh, you see he has retractable weapons. Yeah, 23. Avengers Assemble! I don't know. Uh, you look on the back, I really like the artwork on this one. Very nice looking. War Machine was built by Iron Man for his best friend James Rhodes. The War Machine armor was meant to fill in whenever Iron Man wasn't available. Every bit as powerful as Tony Stark's original armor, the Bristol, and bristling with weapons. War Machine is built not to just stop evil, but to destroy it totally. And uh, you see retractable weapons. That's the Iron Man Mark One, but I think that's the comic series version. Crimson Dynamo and the comic series Iron Man, I believe that one is. Again, nice packaging on here. You got the 23. I really like the art on this one. That one really stands out more than any of the other ones. I really, and it's, it's really sharp looking. I really like that. Um, you can see his retractable weapons and everything that he has right here. I kind of like these a little bit more. And when I do get the movie figure and I review that, I'll show off the differences between it. But there's the War Machine. Let's get him open and see how cool he really is. Okay, guys, so here we have the comic series War Machine figure out of its packaging looking outstanding. This by far, of all the ones that I've already reviewed, is probably my favorite looking. Oh, and that's... It's my cat. Her arm, and there's her butt. That yeah, that's totally her butt. <laughs> yeah, that was random. I the War Machine figure for this is unbelievable. I really do prefer the way this one looks to the movie one. Not saying that the movie one isn't good looking. I just haven't found it yet to really do a good comparison. When I do find it, I'll definitely review it and I'll bring this guy in as a comparison to kind of even things out and see how it basically looks but this guy wow uh the detail on here the paint on here this is war machine this is exactly when i think of war machine this is exactly what i think of very bulky very arm well not not even very bulky i mean he's very very slender very sleek looking yet still maintains a bulk to him that says war machine it, it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous even look at the head the paint detail, on, oh, that's a little too, well, no, it's not that close. I mean, he's got a little red sight thing right there, which is really kind of cool. Really nice detail in the face. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous. Good detail all the way through. Nice paint. Very nice, shiny, metallic paint, as you can kind of see. Going into his boots, which are very armored looking. Very, very kind of smooth and sleek and armored looking. Uh, same on the back. A good, again, good beautiful detail on this uh in, in in terms of his accessories first let me just kind of get to that his accessories are a little bit different than the original or the movie version of them when you flip these guys up and the cool thing is they can rotate which is absolutely awesome they have this these nice little plastic bits i mean you can take them off and you see a little gatling gun detail in here and I'll take this off as well. Unlike the other one that comes with missiles, and again, this one rotates up and this can rotate around. I, I love the fact that, that these can rotate so you can have them like this shooting instead of, you know, having him have to turn his entire body to do it, uh, although you can't really turn his body, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but the, the individual weapons are individually, well, they're not even really weapons, they're just little display pieces, I would pretty much say. Unlike the movie one, who ha have missiles that plug in, eh, you know, it, it kind of, I mean, they can be interchanged, and I don't necessarily like that. I like the uniqueness of these. This particular accessory can only plug in to this, and what's really cool is you can see that these are like little missile launchers, and here these are like little tiny missiles with, ah, plug that in there, with, you know, a, a trail, and, you know, that kind of simulates smoke and really cool looking and again same thing with this one it's like a gatling gun that looks like it's i mean this one kind of looks a little off but it looks like it's firing as opposed to a missile so you're like 
fire missiles. You know, I mean, I just really like the way that the the accessories with this work a whole lot better. In terms of articulation, his head goes left, it goes right, it uh, doesn't really move up and down. It's very minor. The arms move outward, and the thing that's nice is the shoulder pads, unlike the other Iron Man figures, these ones are actually like physically attached to them, as you can see, and then they just fold up and down. There's, it's a little swivel joint, kind of. So you can get them going really far out with the arms and still maintaining the arm look. He had a nice little gun thing on this arm as well. Uh, you can bend it down, you can bend it at the elbow, the fists rotate. This guy has a little fist on here, and you can kind of see that he does have repulsor blasts. Um, I don't know if you can really see that very well. Um, on the inside of his hands, but he really doesn't even need those and as you can see he doesn't have like the arc reactor on the chest Which I think is another difference between this one and the movie version I'm Pretty sure the movie version has an arc reactor on it uh, Kind of zoom back a little bit more um, the the upper ab articulation is somewhat limited you, you, Well, it's not somewhat limited. It is limited which you know again sucks, but <sighs> Just the way the guy looks I, I, I really don't care uh, the, he's got retarded leg syndrome, so you can move the legs out, but to move them forward, you have to rotate them, which is a little tricky to do. And then, eh, there you go, kind of, something like that. You see the re... I mean, even the bottom of the feet are beautifully detailed. It's amazing to me. Uh, two joints at the knee, and the feet go... Well, they're kind of stiff, but they go back and forth, and they rotate as well. But they don't go back and forth all that much. Very, very limited. But overall, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way he looks. Now, in terms of a size comparison, unfortunately, the only uh, other War Machine type figure that I have is this guy, which isn't really War Machine at all. This was the, the I, I don't remember if it was Target or Toys R Us, but it was a store exclusive stealth operation suit Iron Man. But it looks like War Machine. I mean, you got the missile things on the back, which even are identical. I mean, you have the missile launcher here and the Gatling gun. Missile launcher, Gatling gun, same thing. And he's got the little arm guns, which he's got an arm gun here. He doesn't have it on that side. But there you see the size comparison. In terms of the actual physical size, from top to bottom, again, you're looking at at, at about five and a quarter or four and a quarter inches in height. I know, I know it looks a little bit bigger. It's about five and a half inches, maybe. In between, in between four and a quarter and four and a half. I keep saying five. Whereas this guy here, you know, is a little bit over six inches in terms of his height so that's that's the size comparison between the two and since i use the uh, the stealth operation suit this is actually the comic series stealth operation suit and there you can see the size between this uh he is a little bit bigger as you can see and he's even a little bit bigger than the movie series mark three so very nice very nice in terms of the size oops overall though this figure really is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous except other accessories he comes with his stand again i really wish it would have put war machine right on here or something of that nature the three individual slots slots and the different cards that you see the one with the body and you can even see he's got the guns pointing forward legs arms you put them together and, and there he is Slide the guys right in their little slots here. Loose slots. <laughs> if you're from Vegas, you might actually get that joke. Uh, and again, like if you zoom in, three-dimensional look, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Not easy to see, but like, like if you look right down here, it shows really well on the, on the one, two, and three. Um, and you, you can really see it in there, though. But like I said, it's it's... It, it show us, shows off very well in person. So overall, though, I mean, this thing, I can't say enough about this. I really love the way this guy looks. O almost to the point that I, I would pass on the on the other version, but I don't have it yet. So I can't really make that distinction yet, y y if you guys know what I'm talking about. But, uh, I mean, gorgeous looking figure. I just love the way this guy looks. So far, he probably really is one of my favorites if not the favorite in the line for me so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.